Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make an ad hoc network in order to share your internet connection with any device you want. A laptop, um, your, stere your stereo or your PSP. I have to say it doesn't work with a Nintendo DS. With that you still need a router. Well, now the first thing you're going to need is a computer that has an internet connection at least Windows XP Service Pack 2 or, hi or higher and a Wi-Fi card. So, if you have that, you're set. Just go Start, Connect to, All Network Connections. My Windows is German, I'm German. If I see any damn nasty comments on my uh, YouTube page, you can believe it, I delete them. So, well, First hit right click on your wireless network card and hit properties. In the first window that pops up, you just go down the list to, f to TCP IP. Go properties and set the IP to 192.168.0.1. That tells the computer or better the network that this is the main computer. The subnet mask is usually set by itself. You just have to make sure that it's the same on both computers. The standard gateway isn't used on the on the main computer. It's just used on the guest computers. And the DNS server also. The main computer already knows it. You but you will have to tell it to the other ones. So in order to find this one out you will have to go to start all programs SSRs I don't know how to say this in English and fuck it and this and then go to the MSDOS command prompt here just put IP config slash all and enter. This will give you a list of all your network settings. You have to find your internet card, or, well your internet connection and search for the DNS server address. Write it down and close the window. Now you can also close this TCP IP window, you don't going to need it for the moment. So hit OK and then go to the wireless network list. Here you have to make sure that this is marked in order to say Windows that it is supposed to take care of the ne network connections and not the software that came with the card. And then add a new, a new network. Here you are going to put the network name. Mine is going to be TST2 for the moment. Make sure that this down here is marked. Wait a second. Make sure that this down here is marked because that tells the computer that is it is supposed to be the receiver of the connection. Make sure the box at the bottom is checked. In order to tell the computer that it is supposed to provide access. Now, if you want to have any secure, uh, security on it, you can have it, VPA, you name it, but in the end your Wi-Fi card can't be strong enough that your neighbors are going to hack into your internet connection. So for this example I'm just going to make it easier and deactivate this. Now just hit OK and again OK. Now. All you gotta do now on the internet computer is tell the internet connection that it needs to be shared. So hit right click on the internet connection, go on properties and advanced. Here you have to make sure this is marked, telling this is telling you that the internet connect this internet connection is supposed to be shared with other users in the network. So mark it and you get a drop down menu where you have to select 
your wireless network and then hit OK again. Well, that's it for the main computer. All you gotta do now on the second computer is um, configure the the wireless card to be a to connect to exactly this net internet connection. I know it's stupid, but Windows can't find it out by its own. So go start, connect to all network connections. Okay, again, right click on your network connection uh, on your network card and hit properties. Then search again for TCP IP protocol properties and again you're going to need to enter some numbers here. Well, isn't it fun? 192, 168, 0 and this time because we already used 1 we have to put 2. These three always have to be the same and this one always has to be different. The subnet mask has to be the same as on the main computer and the standard gateway standard gateway is 192, 168, 0 and 1. This is telling the computer to search the internet connection on the main computer. Now here you're going to have to insert the numbers you wrote down er earlier and again hit OK. With that you're about set. Again, OK. Double click on your network connection. You should be able to see your uh, network connection here. As you see, there are two computers. It's a different symbol than what you get usually. And uh, well, it has to say computer to computer or, well, I'm not sure what it says in English, English version, version here, sorry. And well, just hit connect. If you did everything right, you're good to go. If not, go over the t tutorial again and, well, try again. So, well, have fun with it, good luck and see you next time. Bye.